Hey, how you doing? Steve here from Mega Music. Uh, the vid today is to help you guys who want to get started recording music onto your computer and you're not quite sure to how to get going. I'm here to help you out. All right, so in the past, uh, recording was a very expensive business and the only way you could do it was to go into studios and pay lots of money. Now, obviously, technology's changed all that and uh, you can get very high quality recordings at home or in very small studios. So there are actually quite a lot of uh, things that you might need, but for a very basic setup to get started, there are five essentials and we'll go through those now. So number one, you'll need a computer. Pretty much anything recent will work fine. Older ones might have a bit of a processing speed issue, but this one's seven years old and works perfectly well. So number two, you'll need an interface, a bit like this one sitting here under my computer. What does it do? Hmm, a little bit complicated, but basically what it's doing is converting real sound into computer language and back out again. So it allows your computer and the software to talk to sound or audio in the real world. Now computers have interfaces actually built in, that's how you hear the sound from your computer. But one of these will process the sound a lot more quickly, a lot more clearly, and will also allow you to sort of work and change your sounds and do sorts of things depending on what type of interface you've got. Many interfaces also will have, a bit like this one, multiple inputs so you can actually do things like record a band through your interface. There are many interfaces to choose from, so just make sure you're getting one that's right for your budget and what you need it for. And a good way to do that is talk to us at Mega Music. All right, thingy number three is a digital audio workstation, or DAW, or DAW for short. It is a piece of software, or what you guys might call an app, that allows you to both record and then work with and manipulate the sounds that you've put into your computer. There's many to choose from, and they do way, way more than just that. But for now, just be aware that you will need a door to record music into your computer. And number four, if you want to do any recording, you're going to need one of these things, a microphone. Uh, don't skimp too much. Um, you can get a pretty good microphone like this Shure SM58 for a pretty reasonable price. And this will allow you to hear your sounds just as you're hearing me now through this one. Alright, last thing, number five, is you'll need something to listen to your music and what you're doing in your computer on. One way is with a set of headphones, the other way is with a studio monitor, a little bit like the NS50 you see over there. You can get started with just a set of headphones, um, but over time you'll find that you'll need a set of monitors to really give you a true and accurate representation of what's going on in your mix. So I'm going to very quickly demonstrate how all these work together. The computer with its door is sitting here. You have your interface plugged into your computer. You listen by plugging your headphones or your monitor into the, into the interface. And any sound sources such as a microphone or a guitar also plug into the interface. All right, so let's start by recording a guitar part. I've plugged the guitar into the interface and the interface into the computer. The door has been opened and I've set it to record the incoming sound to track number two. I press record and play the part. You can see how the audio now appears inside the door and I can move it around inside the arrangement. All right, let's say I wanted to add now a vocal. I plug the microphone into the interface and then set it to record on track three. I press record and sing like so. Once was a sweet thing, baby. Held a loving now I have the vocal audio alongside the guitar. Once was a sweet thing, baby. Believe me, this is just the tip of the iceberg, but there's the basic five things and how they fit together to help you get started. So give Mega Music Online a call or come into a Mega Music store if you'd like some more help. We'd like to hear about the kind of music you want to make and match you up to the gear that suits you best. Take care, guys.